The word anger is only a letter away from the word danger. And this is because the word danger tends to lack around anger. These are the words that were spoken by John Carson. And we've been looking about, we've been talking about this today right here on Sitam Church Online Youth Cafe. My name is Linda Mwaniki. In the early 90s, or rather the early 60s, both America and England were rocked with horrific crimes against children. Stories made headlines on every newspaper and there were leads on every evening news program about this particular problem. In the mid 80s and early 90s, the 24 hour cable news became a reality and stories were blown up and children were exposed to the stories that stem from the reality of kidnappings, abductions, molestation, and murder. In the bid to create, or rather in the bid to create awareness of a supposed epidemic of children kidnappings and murders, the term stranger danger was birthed. And this was in order to help children be aware of their environment, which had potential strangers who would um, ideally pose danger to them. This term, stranger danger, later became a nationwide pandemic, giving rise to a mass incarnation. Nonetheless, stranger danger, uh, with the rise, with it having to be used in the past five decades, ideally started now being used to help children understand their environment and be their own security guards. This was quite dangerous at that time, and even right now is quite a tragedy in our environment. Um, we started by saying, or rather started by quoting this particular quote by John Carson, that anger is only a letter short of the word danger. And this is because the word danger, or rather danger, tends to lack around anger. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 21 to 22, Jesus talks about danger, or rather he talks about anger. And this is what he says. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder. And whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without any cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says you fool shall be in danger of hell. Ideally, when we are looking at the history of the words stranger danger, just bringing it home, it helped me understand one thing. As children of God and us being, and him being our father, God ideally also has created this term for us to help us understand not only of the dangers that are around our environment, but also the danger that can be inside us, in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirits, and in our souls, when we tend to ideally um, nurture that, nurture anger in our hearts or vices such as uh, mockery, vices such as jealousy, vices such as bitterness and greed. And God is helping us understand one thing, that some of these strangers tend to give birth to hatred in our lives. You find, you've, or rather you have had a couple of people saying, I dislike that person or I hate that person. Others even go ahead to say, I loathe that person. And you could be watching this video and you're saying that I relate to this term, hatred. But could there be an issue? Could there be a stranger that you have introduced in your heart? Could there be a stranger that you have introduced in your mind? Could there be a stranger that you have introduced in your soul and in your spirit called anger that has made you ideally, be, or rather has been brewed in your heart, that has made you hate a particular person? Here Jesus is helping us understand that we need to be aware of this environment, not only outside but also inside us. Have you found yourself in, yourself in a place where you have allowed anger to brew up inside you? And one of the ways that Jesus is telling us that we need to deal with this is because these vices ideally will make us not actually see the kingdom of God. Paul talks about it in, I believe, Ephesians when he says that we need to put off these vices, we need to put off anger, we need to put off jealousy, we need to put off greed, we need to put off all these vices that will ideally not make us see God at the end of the day, especially as his children. I, I recommend, uh, guys, and I also um, just charge you at this particular point that if you're struggling with anger, if you are struggling with this stranger in your heart that you have introduced, 
if you're struggling struggling with this particular vice i pray that in the name of jesus christ you will be able to put it off so that you can be able to walk in the path that god has outlined for you so that you can also be able to walk in peace you know um in the next video of this part series stranger danger we'll be able to understand is there anything like holy anger we've had a lot in our christian circles about holy anger righteous anger and righteous anger is there anything like that does it actually exist and how can we vent anger how can we deal with anger how can we prevent anger from brewing in our hearts that ideally in turn t- tends to turn into hatred which god also tells us in first john chapter 3 that if we find ourselves hating our brother then we do not know what love is because love is likened to god then we also don't know who god is because god is love Thank you so much for watching this video. Continue to engage with us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I pray that the Holy Spirit will help you and sensitize you to the stranger that is called anger in our hearts and that he will help you to deal with it. Once again, thank you for watching and God bless you.